knife. I love the hot knife. Oh, we're reacting to the thousand degree knife videos. Oh my, is this the freaking stupid thousand degree blade things that I see on my recommended all the time? Oh my God. Okay, he's just superheating metal and cutting through a marshmallow. It's visually appealing, right? But I just don't, I don't get it. God, it's so satisfying. <laughs> it's just so satisfying. It just, it just goes right through everything. First it was the hydraulic press, now it's this. I don't understand like why people watch it. I don't know why it's so great. <laughs> There's no one talking. There's nothing. It's just pure hot knife. Is he just superheating a knife and cutting through things? Is this all this is? Ooh, butter. Oh, we're getting crazy. Why? I just... <laughs> I don't think butter is as exciting. Have you not seen butter melting on a pan before? I was kind of hoping for an explosion or something. The sounds, personally, for me is what like makes it. The sizzling is just really nice. Oh, I've seen this one. Yes, yes. Styrof? Why? What? Sty what? I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, it shrinks. <laughs> It shrinks! Oh, it looks like a marshmallow. It's so smooth. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's just a heated knife cutting through things. It's like ASMR, basically. It's like, it's, I, I, I didn't know I liked ASMR, but like, this is, I, I like it. This is the one I saw in my recommended. And I was like, what the heck is this? And I clicked it and I was like, all right, never again. Aw, poor ducky. <laughs> I mean, there's no fun in that because now it's not going to squeak. I like watching the plastic ones. It's so nice. I feel like those fumes, though, must be so terrible. It just, like, splits so nicely in the middle. It's just so random. Like, I just don't understand. I don't know if I enjoy it or I'm just, like, I'm confused by it. You're expecting things to just, like, melt completely, but it's just, it always ends up being sort of anticlimactic. Oh. oh, damn. This is, like, an ultra-hot knife. I don't think that's safe, so you probably shouldn't do that. Ooh, ooh, it's like s squeaking. <gasps> it's screaming. <laughs> it's a pineapple screaming. Like that's a good sound. That's a nice sound. Why do people find that entertaining? I don't, I don't understand. Shoes. That's one. Those are perfectly good pairs of shoes. <laughs> Why the shoes? Like, you could donate these things to people. <laughs> I just watched this like two days ago because I just went on a, like, a whole binge watching Hot Knife videos. Why do people find this so entertaining? It's a toothpaste! Oh god, is this gonna explode? Is that gonna even cut? <gasps> That's just a waste. It's like having a real life lightsaber. <laughs> I've seen this one. <laughs> but why though? You ruined a perfectly good Coke. I'm surprised it didn't like explode on him. I don't like the ones where it catches fire. It was just gonna make a mess. He thinks something big is gonna happen and then it, it's just a guy chopping into things with a hot knife. He should have done that with the Coke frozen because then it would just like split in half instead of just making a mess. Now he's gotta clean that up. The air just came out of it. It's on fire. Okay. Oh, what? It's on fire. It just gave up. It just burst into flames. The fact that people go out of their way to like watch something like this, I don't understand it. That was good. I enjoyed that a lot. Whoever came up with this is a genius, and I appreciate them so much. I watch these videos all day. So these types of videos have actually been around for some time from a small channel called Fire Sweet Fire. The channel we first showed you is called Watch It Melt. The other is called Mr. Gear. Okay, I've seen the Mr. Gear ones. The Mr. Gear channel is getting tens of millions of views per video. Wow. Just for cutting 
cutting through stuff with a heated knife. And it's blown up from there where practically every major YouTube channel is making content like this. Here's a collage of thumbnails just found from the first 64 videos that showed up when we searched for thousand degree knife. It's all the same. Why? Joey Graceffa's doing it. That's so many. I didn't know it blew up this much. Before today, did you know about the thousand degree knife trend? No, not in the slightest. Yes, I did. I did know about it. I seen it all over my explore page on Instagram. Yeah, I've seen it a few times around like Snapchat, Instagram. It's all over YouTube. It's always in my recommended. They just kept popping up on my YouTube and I was just like, go away. I saw them a lot on the YouTube trending and I was like, oh, what's this? A guy chopping into sneakers. That's kind of cool. And then I watched it and then I watched it for like another two, three hours and I was like, oh, this is a thing that I really like. So this trend has been very polarizing with many of the people who make videos with the thousand degree knife even call out how stupid it is in the video or how absurd it is that videos like this are getting tens of millions of views and being recommended by YouTube's algorithm all the time. Others feel the trend started inside trends like Oddly Satisfying or even the ASMR community. So what is it about these videos that make this so polarizing? Because it's just like so simple. I could see how it kind of triggers the like the ASMR and like senses videos, but I could also see how it pisses people off because it's just like, obviously, like, what do you expect? It's just the lack of originality in the videos. It definitely is really absurd. And like, I realize that I'm like, okay, why am I watching this? But yet at the same time, I'm stuck in it. It's lowering the quality of a lot of YouTube videos. It's just so stupid. Like, I don't, I just really don't understand it. I get like, if you're a YouTuber who maybe isn't a huge YouTuber, but you like pump up stuff like consistently and you have a decent following and you're seeing that like your stuff now isn't getting as many views as like the knife challenge because of the way YouTube's algorithm works, I get being really upset with that. So this trend is uh, kind of being treated like a meme or even like a huge challenge trend All at right. this point. Okay, stop right there. I hate the challenge thing. You're making a challenge out of something that's not a challenge. I don't get it. I, I really don't. But this really shows how when something gets popular on YouTube these days, it feels like everyone will jump on the yeah. trend to do it. So as a viewer, what do you think about that? Okay, well, trending things are always gonna have the bandwagon. And I guess the more the merrier. That just sums up the internet. Yeah, there's a lack of originality, but at the same time, it's like satisfying the YouTuber himself. He's satisfying his fans. It's sort of sad that you have to follow the trend to get views, to make money, whatever. So, but then everyone wants to see the popular YouTuber do whatever, the, like, like the big thing at that moment. It's, fun to see your favorite YouTuber's perspective on something like this, but at the same time, it kind of oversaturates part of YouTube, you know what I mean? Because now everybody's recommendation is just 10 different channels with the same video. I'm not a really a fan of like the whole everyone jumps on trends because I, I feel like that puts you more towards like mainstream media and the whole thing about YouTube is like finding people who are unique and who do their own thing. I do think it's detrimental to the overall quality of YouTube because it kind of discourages originality and it discourages actually striving to make your content, you know, in in my opinion, good. But if that's what the viewers want, then that's what they're gonna watch. So this trend is something that many YouTubers are making videos for, even though they might think it's silly, but they still do it. Even with us covering this right now, it will add to and perpetuate the spread of this trend. So whether you do the trend because you want views or because you want to make fun of it, YouTube as a whole tends to make things just get larger than life sometimes. So what did you think about this aspect of trend culture on YouTube? There's no such thing as bad publicity. Like that's, if you talk about it, it gives it attention. And when it gets attention, it gets more popular. It's not just YouTube, you know, it's kind of how the internet works. Like things go viral. And when things go viral, people are, like your favorite YouTuber is expected to talk about it. And it's lazy, but at the same time, it, I can't really knock them for doing that. Cause I mean, it is, it is a smart like thing to do. Like if, if something's popular, you, you might as well talk about it. Everything is so complicated just because it's like, oh, this is stupid. I'm gonna do it anyway. And then you do it and then it gains popularity. Then everyone's like, oh, this is stupid. But then everyone keeps on doing it and it just sort of keeps on going until the next meme comes. So finally, we actually have something for you. Oh, fun. Do I get to burn stuff? I don't want to cut anything. You guys are gonna actually make me cut something? That would be freaking... 
This isn't an actual thousand degree knife. What the heck? You guys got me super hyped. Oh, what? I thought it was gonna be a real hot knife. I was like, I've never used one before. That would be so cool. I'm so mad. The hundred degree challenge, let's go cutting off my arm reviews. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. We have new episodes across all generations every week, so make sure to be subscribed. Bye guys, I'm off to do the thousand degree knife challenge. Don't try this stuff at home. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallin here from FBE. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Teens React. Now you like what you saw, we've got plenty more down below, so go ahead and click.